All right, so we're gonna do a comparison between the Rad Rover cadence sensor and the Juice Spikes torque sensor. It's the best way I could think of to try to make this work so you could get a, a better feel without actually jumping on the bike. It's probably the best way, but um, here you go. So for the Rad, this is the cadence sensor. So it's a combination of this magnetic sensor and this black disc. You can see mine is actually cracked. It still works though. It has magnets placed every so often. And then what will happen is as you pedal, and it doesn't matter how much torque or force you apply on the pedals, it just, the magnet just has to pass by the sensor. And then boom, that engages the motor. And so I'm gonna show you that on this test. So let me get it going. Well, let's interrupt for just a second. What I wanna show you here is over at Juice Bikes, they have a write-up on torque versus cadence sensors. I definitely recommend you going over here and checking it out. But what the way they write it up is really, I hope, what you're gonna see is that it works more or less like a light switch as far as cadence sensing. Torque sensing, however, is really cool. This I didn't know, that it actually samples, the, the torque sensing samples at a thousand times per second over the entire pedal stroke and you feel it you'll also see it in the video it's a very fluid and it's hard to feel but um, I think I've hopefully given you some perspective here they kind of give it into more physical aspects of the different sensors but definitely uh, go over there and check it out and you'll see in the rest of the video how it goes so we got it ready to go pedal assist 5 maximum pedal assist I'm gonna hold this just to brace it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start turning the wheel. What happens is when it gets to kind of a full rotation, the magnet will pass, there it goes. Now I'm very, just lightly applying the pedal. You can hear can hear how it's going now obviously I'd be pedaling normally I'd be pedaling faster but I'm applying almost no pressure at all to these pedals it's just my hand loosely applying and it just has to pass the sensor and that's it and then it just it, right now it's coasting to a stop okay again I'm gonna slowly turn there Motor kicks in, motor kicks in, boom, every time. So really, what I've noticed is that the challenge, I'm going to remove it from here, bring it to a stop. So as far as what this cadence sensor feels like, with a bike this heavy, when you're at full speed, and this is about 22, 23 miles an hour, at least on mine at full speed, that's what it shows up on here. What you'll notice is applying more physical strength to those pedals. Yes, it gets you a little bit faster, but it is so much energy and while it's like you're constantly hitting a wall, there's nothing more to give, it's all you. And uh, the, the motor will not engage any faster than the, the maximum on your bike. So mine is dialed into about 22 or 23, that's it. If I pedal harder, it's all me, and it's a lot of work to get a bike this heavy going faster, unless you're going downhill. So the, the, cadence, the a combination of the cadence sensor, really I find is, is, is almost not worth even activating. Like usually I turn it off and I just use the motorcycle twist accelerator to, uh, to propel. And so what I've, and again, it wasn't until I was introduced to this thing with the torque sensor on the juice bikes that it totally changed my perspective on commuting and health and exercise because on this bike, I really was just mailing it in. Um, great bike, a lot of fun, more like a motorcycle, I would say. Um, but this one, getting up to, it's a class three, so it'll get up to 28 miles an hour and it, it does, you know, pure electric by accelerator um, up to 20 miles an hour, which is the class three. Above that, you have to get involved 
And that's where the torque sensing comes in. It's the coolest thing. I'll show you that. I mean, I hope it translates on, on the, uh, the f I was going to say film, on the video. Who knew? Anyway, but um, hopefully it'll translate. But the torque sensor's right there, that flat pad. And um, what it does is it, it somehow, I don't know what's involved, apparently some math or some other stuff, but uh, it, it senses the torque and it applies the same torque that you're applying. So you kind of feel, it's a superhuman feel. You feel so connected to the bike. Oh, look at that. Um, versus the rad. I feel like it's either, it's doing all the work up to 20, Above that, it's all me, which that's reality. Um, but on this guy, it's like I'm an extension of the bike, and it's a part of me. We're, we're one and the same. Sounds totally weird. I get it. But let me show you, and let's see how it works. All right, so now we have the Juice Bikes Cross Current S on my high-tech <laughs> deck here. And uh, we're going to give this through some rotations. So um, what I'll do too is essentially the same thing like I did on the rad is I'm going to set this one to the maximum. Okay. There, it's on sport mode. There, last current S. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to set this down, show you the view and you'll get a sense of how this thing functions. All right, so now we've got uh, this ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, brace the bike, and then we're going to go ahead and apply the pedals. So I'm just gonna go slowly. As you can see, right now, it doesn't have the sense to really kick in much. I'm just going slowly. Now I'm starting to physically feel more, apply more pressure on my arm. Still don't really feel much in the way of, there we go. It's kind of, kind of helping out. It's way smoother integration. You'll notice with the rod, you heard that. Okay, now I'm applying pressure, now it is. I'm applying, now it is. Same thing, so it's physically, I'm doing stuff, I'm doing something and it's doing something on its, it's matching what I'm doing. I'll stop. This bike definitely, it will coast longer. But you almost can't tell just by watching the video. But I can assure you that it's applying pressure, I'm applying pressure. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. It's about the best I could do unless you actually jump on a bike that has torque sensing. I did look um, before I was doing this and looked for um, as many bikes as I could that had this kind of technology. There aren't a lot out there right now. So between this and the rad, um, the rad doesn't have it, at least not yet. And um, maybe the new version will. There you go.